Okay, wanted to provide a quick overview of phase one of Twitter Gadget's Twitter list implementation. Um, phase one, in an effort just to get things to you as quick as possible, uh, strictly provides for the ability for you to view existing lists in which you've subscribed, either um, lists that you've generated, um, public or private, or other public lists, again, in which you subscribed. Phase two um, will be the ability to delete uh, existing subscriptions, um, as well as add uh, subscriptions to any pre-existing lists that are out there. In phase three, somewhere down the line, we'll look to potentially provide for the ability for you to actually generate and create new lists and add uh, add users to those lists and what have you. But again, for now, um, phase one is strictly view the ability to view um, existing lists you subscribe to. How do I get to those lists? Well, uh, you, you may are, I'm sure you're already aware of the drop down arrow that we provide various access to various other features such as trending topic save searches and whatnot. You'll also now see a new entry called Twitter lists. If you go ahead and click that link, a sub-menu will appear uh, listing all of the um, user personal generated lists and public lists in which you subscribe to. The order of which is your user generated lists first, uh, followed by your public lists. Um, and the order in which those are presented are, uh, are the, the order in which they return to us via Twitter, which is the order in which you've uh, actually generated and subscribed to those lists. So, uh, you see the key differentiator between your own lists and public lists that you subscribe to is the public list will have the at uh, username in front of the list name, uh, designating, them, designating that they're not your own list. Your own list will have just the list name itself. So, if you go ahead and click any one of those lists in the menu, um, you'll re be returned the timeline for that particular list um, as expected. You can go ahead and close out uh, your list menu if you'd like, or you can go ahead and um, click a different list. And you'll see a little designator, since you're no longer on one of the predefined tabs, there will be a new little designator just above your timeline um, that will show what the list is that you're currently viewing. So that way when you close out your menu, um, you'll still retain um, a little indicator uh, so you recognize again which particular list or which list in particular you are viewing at that time. And again, you can go back to your menu, um, switch between any particular list that you wish, and um, you're off and running to the races. That's it for now. Just a quick overview. Uh, hope you enjoy lists. Stay tuned for additional rollouts of uh, other features centered around lists, as mentioned uh, at the top of this video.